Okay, so now what I'll do, I'm going to show you how to convert, or how I convert um, .mov files into um, .mp4 files, okay? So, the program I use is a freeware, it's an open source program, it's called Handbrake. And I'll give you a link to get that, but it's just, if you type in Handbrake into Google, it'll come up with... Um, with a URL and a link to where you can get that. But what I'll do is I'll select this file here now and I'll open it up. I think this is an awesome product. I've tried many different ones to get and I find this gets me pretty much the best result um, for my conversions for a free piece of software. It does a really, really nice job. It has all these predefined settings in here. So, for example, if I wanted to and it's um, convert the file that I just um, added as the source file. If I want to convert that to um, a file for iPod, I just clicked iPod there, and it has already selected the codec to use, and the video codec here is the H.264. Um, this is probably the most popular codec for encoding MP4 files now because it is, um, it's a file, it's a codec that's required to reduce the file sizes um, whilst, um, so they can be played back on a lot of mobile devices. And that's why you're finding that it's, it's quite a popular codec. If I was not to use that codec and I used MPEG-4 or MPEG-2, for example, um, mobile devices would struggle to, or some, in some case, wouldn't even recognize or would, would take so long for them to download and, um, and play those files. So the H.264 codec, which um, takes that, that video file, that .mov file, and encodes it into an MP4 format, does an excellent job of maintaining a high-quality result video file after the compression process. So that's the format that's most popular. It's the it's the format that YouTube uses and um, Vimeo, the most of the big um, video platforms all use this encoding uh, because of the mobile device um, industry now. It's, it's a craze and as you can see, you know, most people are watching videos now on, M on iPhones or on iPads. Um, this magazine's a perfect example of that. Okay, so if I encoded my videos in something other than um, that, that codec, then it wouldn't work um, effectively within the iPad magazine format that you're looking at now, and nor would it work very well with any other uh, mode of mobile devices. So, as you can see, there's a number of, there's a universal one there, um, one for iPod, one for iPhone, one for um, iPad here. I've, you can also create your own custom settings as well. And I've created one down here for the Magcast platform, which is what I host, um, created the, uh, the, the application for this magazine. And I've created that myself, that format. You save it off and, um, and I just select it each time I want to opt, um, convert my files to an MP4 format using this codec. It automatically does it. So all I've got to do is quite simply press start and it will go through relatively quickly because this is quite a small file size and what it'll do it'll take the source file here and then save it as an FLV test mp4 file um, on the desktop when it's completed okay all done pretty simple and just minimize that now and as you'll see, I've got an MP4 file here. Now, if we have a look at the original size here, this is a 2.6 megabyte MP, um, um, QuickTime file. And if I have a look at this one here, it's uh, just reduced it a little bit in file size, 2.1 megabytes. And if I open this up to have a look, Okay, this is just a test video for the purpose of creating an FLV file. You'll see that it... Don't stop this. 
you'll see that it's um, converted the file into an MP4 format, MP4 format, um, and this can be used in a number of different ways. Um, you can in, you can use it to upload to WordPress as a file in the media browser and use a plugin to add this add this to your page which I'll show you in a separate video. You can also embed this using the video, the HTML5 video tags, which I don't recommend doing for WordPress because you don't need to. Um, you just have to upload this file to your to your server, to your hosting server, and then you would use the video um, element co element um, tabs in HTML5, and then you would um, create a source link to this particular file on your server. But that's really messy stuff. You don't need to do that. Um, as I'll show you in a separate video, all you need to do is quite simply install a plugin, add the video file you want to have on your on your WordPress blog, and that's all you need to worry about. So I'll leave that there for this one. Um, again, in the if you wanted to, for example upload any of these files to YouTube, you can do that as well. YouTube, you can upload a MOV file to it and look at it. I'd suggest using the highest quality file for YouTube, not a already um, compressed to MP4 file. Use your MOV file, your, your QuickTime file, upload that to, um, quick, to YouTube and it will convert it into the correct format for you. Okay guys, I'll leave it there.